hello guys welcome to my channel once again and in this video we are not going to solve math but we are going to talk about how you can learn or tackle mathematics when you go to our tertiary our secondary and even the primary level it seems mathematics is the most talked about or complaint subject and i always ask myself why it has happened in that way mathematics isn't that scary and difficult like it sounds you know if you get your hands off mathematics it can even be one of your most scoring subjects and it's only the subject that you can get 100 percent over 100 percent at the end of this video you are going to know how you can make this happen so here are some tips to help you learn mathematics as an expert and believe me after watching this video if you are serious about the tips you are going to make it tip number one start by solving problems and what do I mean by this? Mathematics is a subject that requires more of doing than you listening or you reading. Now, it's not a subject that you can memorize a night before going to write an exam. So what you have to do is that solve more problems. But one thing, do not start by solving complex problems. If you have just understand a topic or a chapter, you start solving um, complex problems will not only discourage you but also give you wrong answers so instead start by solving simple and straightforward questions and always make sure to solve questions at the back of your textbook make sure you don't look at the answer beforehand but when you are done solving the question then you compare your answers to what is in the book remember not to compare only final answers by try comparing the steps and once you get the steps right, you can move on to solve the difficult ones. Tip number three, master key the concepts. You know, each and every mathematics problem has got its own characteristics. Some might be the same, but along the way, it might get twisted. What you have to do is that you wouldn't memorize the processes involved. But it is much better and rewarding in the long run. To focus on the steps involved because if you're having the steps you can tackle any other question that you see so understand the processes involved but don't memorize the process because you are not going to meet the same questions in your exam tip number four sometimes you can get stuck trying to solve a particular math problem and you find it difficult to move to the next stage it is very common for most of the students to skip what they can do and then move on to the next question but if you are fan of doing that i'm advising you to stop and instead spend time trying to understand the processes involved in solving that particular problem once you have grasped an understanding to the initial problem you can use that as a stepping stone to solve the rest of the question tip number five apply mathematics to real world problems you know mathematics can be abstract sometimes and if it happens this way what you have to do is that you have to look for a practical problem that can change your perspective and assimilate ideas differently probability for example can be used in our everyday life to predict the outcome of something happening and determine whether to take a risk for instance the decision on whether you should buy a lottery ticket is either you are going to lose or you are going to win. So through probability, you can determine whether you should buy the ticket or not. If you compare mass problems to real world problems, it also helps you to change how difficult you see a certain question. Tip number six, ask for help. Never be afraid to ask for help on campus. Or wherever you find yourself it is okay if you cannot master up the courage to ask for questions in class after the class you can go to your professors during office hours or even tutorials and ask them about the question you couldn't ask in class at the universities some lecturers are having teaching assistants and they are meant for you as soon as you run into problem you cannot fix just go to them and then believe me things are going to be more easier than you see it. That way is to ask for help from your peers or your colleagues. Join effective study groups where you can discuss your problems. Sometimes you just need something to be explained to you in a different way. 
for you to understand it. So I'm advising you to always ask questions during class and after class. If you cannot, if you cannot ask in class, you can do it after class or you can ask it from your friends. I think I have covered everything. So if you take these tips into action, believe me, things are going to be very well. Things are going to be fine. Things are going to be easier than you see it. Now, if today is your first time on the channel, kindly subscribe, hit on the notification bell for all the updates. Like and then share this video. Thank you for watching.